hear your own personal fitness trainer. So today, we're going to be doing a stability ball leg workout. And it's going to work all the areas of your legs. It's going to target everything. So stay tuned and in a moment we're going to get started. So get yourself steady on the ball with good posture and we're going to lift up our left leg a couple inches off the floor and we're going to kick that leg out with a flexed foot and you want to follow me we're doing 12 reps and you notice my hands are on the side of the ball keep going with it and that leg out flex foot it's working your quad upper thigh all right get centered again hands are there on the side now we're doing the right leg lift it up a few inches and extend it out with the flex foot 12 reps and sometimes it just takes a little practice with the stability ball you can do it Alright, get centered again. We're working the hip flexors. Same thing, left leg. So that left leg is extended straight with the flex foot and we're going to raise and lower for 12. Raise and lower, 3, keep going, 4, 5, keep your posture straight, 6, 7, keep going with it for 12 reps. Uh, if there's something you don't understand, just replay the video or pause it. Now, other right side, flex foot, straight leg, raise and lower, work in the hip flexor area. 12 reps. And we're going to keep moving with the workout here. We're going to keep it going. But if you need to pause it for something, I want you to do it. So this next one is going to work your inner thigh. And the tricky part is you really have to get a hold of that ball. So notice how my lower leg is around it and my foot, both. And my hands are along my side and in right in there, I'm going to squeeze my knees in for three second hold and then release it. Squeeze, the three, release. We're doing 12 reps. Squeeze, one, two, three, and release. You want to keep going with it. You want to squeeze those knees in for the count of three. 12 reps. Squeeze it, two, three, release. Really work this inner thigh. Keep going with it. You can do it. Squeeze. I know you feel it. You can really feel it working. Good job. So now we're going to work the inner thigh again with this next exercise. You're going to lay the ball on the underside part of your right leg, the lower portion. And you're going to place the left leg on top of the ball, holding it. And you're going to be on your side. You can prop your head up. Your hand is in front of you. And you're going to raise and lower for a count of three. And then lower. So count one, two, three, and lower back down. And two, three, and all together we're going for the 12 reps. Keep going with it. Make a nice little straight line. And you can also lay your head down on your arm, extend it out if you like. Whatever is most comfortable for you as you raise and lower for the count of three. All right, good job. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. 
And we're gonna place it on now. The left leg and the right leg is going to be on top of it. Take your time. If you need to pause the video, go ahead. Do it at your own pace. Same thing, same position. You're on your fingertips there with your hand that's supporting you. Keep your balance. Raise and lower for three. 12 reps. Squeeze it. Raise and lower. Feel up in that inner thigh. Okay, showing you again. You can place your head on your arm, extend it out if you like. All right, we're going right to the next exercise. It's called a high bridge. The high bridge is gonna work your hamstrings, your glutes, and even your calf muscles. And you wanna put your feet on the ball, your legs are bent, arms are down along your side, and you're gonna push your hips up in the air while you keep your knees bent. Of course, it's all gonna work your core. And we're going for 12 reps, and you touch your buttocks on the floor, push up again. You raise and lower for the 12 reps. Your arms at your side are balancing you. Squeeze those glutes. Really feel it there. Calves, hamstrings, glutes. All right, now you're gonna extend the legs straight on the ball. You can see the lower part of my legs are on the ball, arms are on the side. And you're gonna push up straight for a bridge and pull your knee in towards your chest and alternate it. Keep your hips up in the air the whole time. This is called a bridge with a single knee flex. Again, it's working your hamstrings. Keep going with it for the 12 reps, alternating. It'll strengthen your hamstrings and it's working your core at the same time. Good job. Bridge with leg lifts. This is gonna work your hamstrings and your glutes. So you want the lower portion of your legs on the ball they're straight in a diagonal line as you push up in the air and lift the one leg off as far as you can toward you. Three seconds, place it back down. And you want to keep alternating 12 reps. Place it down so it's one, two, three. Put it back down, one, two, three. Keep going with it, alternating it. Steady that ball. You can do it. Keeping that body in it. Alright, now this next one is called Swiss Ball Hamstring Curl. This is still a little trickier, you might have to practice. Put your feet on the ball, your legs are bent, arms are along your side, and in a, you're going to push that ball out by extending your legs and touch back down. But when you bend back down, you are not touching the floor. You'll see in a moment, you're clear on the floor by a few inches. And you can realign the ball if you need to, like I did. Push it, see that? Push it out. You're not touching, it's clear. You're not touching the floor. You're missing it by a few inches. And then you bend them in. Push it out. That is really working your hamstring muscle. 12 reps. Great exercise. Good job. So now this is a more advanced hamstring curl because your hips are going to be up in the air the whole time. See, I'm up off the floor, hips are raised and staying in that position. Now I push the ball out and I come back to that 
hip up position. In other words, my tailbone never comes down to the floor to tuck down like the other one did. It's definitely more challenging. So you can try it, but if you don't feel comfortable doing it, then just skip it and take a little mini break. Because right after this, we're gonna be stretching a little bit. There you go. So we're gonna stretch out our hamstrings a little bit before the next exercise. You notice the one foot's on the ball, the other leg straight with the foot flexed and we wanna pull it for like a count of five. Doing a five count. Okay, we're gonna do it again and it's one, two, three, four, five. And the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Pulling that towards you. All right, good. So now, this is a one leg pump. So, we're gonna do one side and the other. So you notice, foot's on the ball, other leg straight up, and you wanna push up in the air, and you touch down on the floor. Touch down, it's working that hamstring, press back up, touch down, up, and you just keep going with that motion. We're doing 12 reps. And it's working the bent leg, that hamstring muscle. All right, now we're gonna switch sides. Same exact thing. That leg straight with the flex foot, other leg's bent, push up. You are touching the floor with your buttocks. And then you press back up. It's working the hamstring of that bent leg. Going for the 12 reps. Doing good, just do what you can. All right, all right, good job. So until next time, I'll see ya.